morning. As you can probably hear, I'm walking past the primary school. I'm just on my way home. I've just been, my hair looked funny. I cut it last night and it's looking a bit, a bit weird this morning. I've had a shower as well. Do you know what? I have a feeling I put conditioner on my hair and then forgot to wash it out. What a bummer. I think I might have to go and wash it again. It's awful, isn't it? So unfortunately, I never really look in the mirror, so I hadn't noticed before now. <sighs> so, anyway, I'm just walking back home. I've just been out to make a friend's face up for Halloween, friend's son's face up for Halloween. So I did him a ghost face. I did white face paint all over and then I did black around the eyes. I have to say he did look really good. Um, so, and he had a ghost costume on as well. So that's pretty good. So yeah, looks like we're gonna have a shower now. Oh, that's a pain. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some lunch. I'm gonna have my smoothie. And then I'm going to do a bit of my homework, see if I can get the rest of it done. And I'm going out to my knitting group with my friends. Look what a beautiful day it is though, isn't it? Really lovely blue sky. I'm just out in a t-shirt at the moment. Don't really need anything else on, because it's just so warm. Right, I'm gonna go. See you later. Just start. So it's just starting to get dark now. Here's my uh, skull with all the sweeties inside, and I've done my front door. All those little lights are actually miniature little ghosts. I don't think it'll show up very well on here because they're quite bright. Look at those. <laughs> and then outside. got the witch's legs and then there's the pumpkins oh look and here comes the black cat just to complete it so we're all ready now hey everybody well it is just after half past eight on uh, Halloween evening so it's the last day of October so I couldn't possibly let this day go without um, a little bit of a, a chat with you all. I've just got my list in front of me. So this was my list that I did at the beginning of Vlogtober. And I feel quite embarrassed actually looking at it. I've ticked, I ticked two things off the list and then I added a third because I defrosted my freezer and I felt that that really should be on the list. And I can only tick, no, I can tick two more things off on the list. So I can tick off Trip to Poland, which is that one. Sorry, it's backwards. Because I went and it was fabulous. We had a wonderful time. And I've just noticed, actually, that I can also tick off another one. I've got, I've got a whole tin of Sharpies here. I just love, I don't know about you, but I love, I love stationery. I love pens and pencils and notebooks and, you know, all that kind of thing. Really, really enjoy them. Really just get so much pleasure out of them. I, you, you can never have too many notebooks. And I do actually use them all, actually. I do use all my notebooks. And I did get to the point recently where I found that I'd use them all. And I have like specific things for each ones that I, I use as well. I use them all and I had to get a new one for my co my college course, which is quite nice actually. I was like, ooh, I need to buy another one. Anyway, I digress. So the other thing that I can tick off is go for walks. And make just at the top, go for walks. It's a little bit of a, because hmm, I'm not really been for many walks, but today, I walked twice. I walked down to my friend's house to do um, the Halloween makeup for her son. He looked really good when it was done, I have to say. He did look a little bit scary. So Bailey's just trying to um, 
He was just trying to climb on my knitting, but now he's decided he's going to sit on a packet of Skittles instead. Why not? Why not, Bailey? Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I, that's right. I went to um, I went to do my friend's son's uh, ghost outfit makeup. So I did white round his face and then sort of grey black all round his round his eyes. It did look pretty good actually. I even did uh, white makeup in his beard and moustache as well. It looked um, yeah. This is not a little kid we're talking about. <laughs> this is this is a grown six foot guy, you know, but. It was it was good actually. It looked it looked really good. He was very pleased with it. Uh, and then I went to the post office, and then I walked home. So that was about a twenty minute walk there and back. And then in the afternoon, I went to my knitting group, and that's another twenty minute walk there and a twenty minute walk back. So and and I just thought, you know I need to do a bit more walking because I do tend to. But I mean I, I tend to get on my bike if I don't walk. So you know it's that's not bad really, is it? You know I'm getting still getting the exercise. I'm back on my um, diet that I was doing earlier on this year because I do feel a lot healthier on it. Um, so I do intermittent fasting where I don't have anything between 8pm and 12 noon the next day. And I do find I actually feel better for it. If I have, if I have something morning, I tend to have a bowl of cereal and that tends to make me feel sluggish and oh, a bit... I don't know, a bit like I haven't got much energy and I don't have much energy to start with. So it is better that way. And then I'm trying to eat more. So then I, I break my fast with um, the smoothie, like I showed you at the um, beginning of my October vlog. So I make a smoothie every day. Um, and when it gets too cold for me to have a smoothie, when I feel like I really need something warm, then I'm going to swap over to soup. And I do lots of homemade soups with lots of veg and things in. So that should be pretty good as well. And then I have a meal in the early evening, sort of five o'clock-ish, five or six o'clock. Um, and then the critical thing is not snacking. Um, that's my biggest downfall is in the evening, I'm just constantly picking at stuff. And it's just, and it's just habit or boredom, you know, or just looking for something to do with my hands. And it's just reminding myself, I don't really need it. It's empty calories, uh, 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 you know, the usual things we tell ourselves. So, so yeah. So yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit disappointed with my plans. So I didn't make any soap. I didn't embroider on my coat. I didn't paint the kitchen. I didn't paint the orange and blue room. I didn't finish my Christmas stockings. I really need to do those. I didn't make my dress. And I didn't make any jam. But I did make my lovely big crochet cardigan. And I am making really good progress on my sweater. So what I've done, it's not quite in the pattern. The pattern said to sort of run a line through. But what I decided to do, where this, what, run a line through where the, where the yoke goes. But what I decided to do was I've actually done like a row of garter stitch and I'm actually going to knit onto this for the frill uh, rather than just sew it on. Um, I think it actually might work a little bit better. The only thing I'm not sure about is the increases because there were double increases and they stand out an awful lot more than I was hoping they would. They look a bit of a mess, I think. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that. I'm hoping when it's blocked it won't be quite so obvious but we'll we'll see we'll see on that one still love the yarn though it is really really nice I hope it doesn't pill though that's the only thing so the other thing as well I thought I would show you is um well, some books that I bought recently so most books that I buy I get second hand buying the second hand shops buy from the charity shops and things but i have bought a couple of books new to the uh from you recently so i'll just show you i'll just show you what i got some of them are just for interest and some of them are sort of uh knitting related so this one this one i did buy from the charity shop 
It's called Victorian Stencils for Design and Decoration. And it has got some wonderful patterns in. Really beautiful. Look at those. And I just thought they were really lovely inspiration for embroidery designs. You know, or maybe even for paintings. I don't know. I think they're really... Look at that. Some lovely borders. And because they're all in black and white, they're just, you know, just really easy to follow and to, you know, um, to trace onto something as well. All lovely borders. I should really turn the camera around, shouldn't I, rather than just holding them up. And you can see them. So, yeah, I was really pleased with that. It cost me, I think, 50p or something in the charity shop. Um, so, yeah, that was always one of my very nice purchases. Okay, then this one, this is one that I bought new. And this is called the Antiquarian Sticker Book. And I bought it not because it was stickers, but just because I really liked the designs. And again, I just thought this is, look, look at that textile, isn't that lovely? I just thought of it would be really nice, sort of, again, inspiration um, for, for designs that I might want to do. I mean, I might use some of these stickers, but I get a bit stressed about using the stickers. Hang on, let's see what else we got. Doggies! Oh, look, isn't that so cute? So these are all Victorian illustrations that have just been coloured and made into stickers. I guess some of them were coloured before anyway. What else we got? Some little flower ovals. I don't know what that is. They look like brains, don't they? That one. Very weird. But yeah. So I'm really pleased with this. I keep showing the same pages, don't I? Oh, look, there's more of those. Lots of those. They must be dividing pages, I think. In different categories. I haven't really had a proper look through this yet. But I think it's lovely. Lots of different things. Lots of different pictures and stuff. What's that one? It's a very weird looking hedgehog. <laughs> I wasn't quite sure whether it was a bear or a hat or something. But yeah. All letters as well. Beautiful. So yeah, again, another book I got for inspiration. Really nice. And then another one I bought. Um, I saw this. In the shop when I went to Cromer and I went to the seaside for the day which was during August and I think I um, I think I mentioned it in my in my blog um, around that time had a really really nice time found loads and loads of little lovely little bits in the charity shop did go down to the beach for a bit but mostly I went for a wander around uh, the charity shops so and had a great time uh, and I saw this book. It's called a medieval mis Mi a medieval miscellany um, by Judith Heron, and they they had a copy of it. And it was a second hand book I saw in a bookshop, and I picked it up and I absolutely fell in love with it. And I just thought, do I really want to buy this? I think it was about eight pounds or something. And I thought. Do I really want to buy this? I just realised if I hold it up for too long, it's going to end up with my thumbnail. <laughs> it's going to look a bit weird, isn't it? Um, I thought, do I really want to buy this? Um, and then I decided at the end of the, I thought I'll go away and think about it, and I'll come back. Anyway, I got to the end of the day, and I, I thought, um, oh look, what's the? Oh, there's a lot of pictures on the front. Um, got to the end of the day, and I thought, yeah, I really do want this book. It's got beautiful pictures from, you know, lots of medieval manuscripts and things. 
and I went back and it was two minutes past four and the shop had shut at four o'clock. I was gutted. So I was like, oh no. Anyway, fortunately, I'd taken a picture of the cover um, so that I would remember what it was and so that I could go back um, and to the right shop and find it again because I've got a terrible memory, as I've said before. And um, so I had a picture of it. So I then went on to, I think, World Books. And I think I got it for about £4 from there. So it was nice. I do prefer to give my money to local bookshops, I must say. But I can't if they're sharp, can I? So, yeah, I'm really, I was really, really pleased with this. Sorry, I've just read a headline that says the miracle of the testicles. Um, I need to go and read that. <laughs> I can't show you the pictures. They're absolutely X-rated. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see that. I hope I'm randomly showing you the picture from that one. Oh no, dearie me. This one's. <laughs> that took me completely by surprise. <laughs> That's from the wife of Bath. <laughs> a tale by Chaucer, which is written in about 1386. Oh my goodness. Um, I mean, I suppose we kind of know, don't we, that the medieval period, they were a bit more bawdy. <laughs> we perhaps give them credit for but <laughs> I, I really need to sort of um censor what i'm showing you don't i, I didn't realize that I didn't really think about that anyway i'm going to enjoy reading that i need to have a look now don't i okay <sighs> right my last one oh just, just before I, we go any further let me show you my t-shirt uh, sorry it's backwards it says Knitting isn't a hobby, it's a post-apocalyptic life skill. It's a saying I've always liked. So I've got it printed on a t-shirt, because why not? Right, so then this is the last one that I got, and this is called a Knitter's Stitch Collection. Um, this was by Leslie Stanfield and Melody Griffiths. And it is great, because it's got, this is how I love stitch books like this to be laid out. Really nice, big, clear picture. Um, the pattern as, as laid out as a, a grid and then also the written pattern as well and then the whole descriptions about you know the skill level that's needed um, and then little sort of you know bits of, of information and uh, advice as well there's some really really lovely cables in there um, all, all sorts, loads and loads and loads of different stitches, um, lots of sort of ideas for um, colour work as well. Uh, so, yeah, this is a book I sort of had my eye on for a while and uh, I was really sort of chuffed to get hold of a copy. Um, again, I think I got this from World Books as well because I couldn't, I couldn't find it in the, in the shops at the time that I wanted it. So it's quite often difficult to find knitting books in the shops. But some really, really good ideas. There's like 300 different knitting stitches in there. So I haven't actually used it yet, but I'm really glad I've got it. And I will hopefully use it in the future. So. Sorry, I'm still laughing about that. Unexpected. Um, <laughs> unexpected item in the book. <laughs> Oh dear. So that's the end of October. That's the end of Vlogtober. Thank you if you've watched all of it. Thank you if you watched some of it. I hope you found it interesting and not too boring. I don't really have a very exciting life. I don't sort of go, I just don't have the I don't have the get up and go, um, unfortunately. Um sad side effect of, of uh being chronic being chronically ill i guess really but as i say that's life that's just the way it is isn't it so so i'm quite pleased really i have managed to finish a sweater 
starter toy. Oh, I finished one, didn't I? I finished the Santa one as well while we were doing this. Um, I've probably knitted other things as well. I've already completely forgotten. A couple of pairs, pairs of socks. Done those. Um, yeah. I've done a little bit of painting and drawing, but I've not I've not shown you any of that. I just showed you the pictures that we'd done previously, didn't I, on our art gallery? And shown you my collages that I did. I really enjoyed doing those. It's really nice. So I don't know whether I do a, a, a Vlogtober type thing again or Vlogmas or you know spring spring vlogs or anything. It is because it is quite a lot of work. And just with because my energy levels are so up and down, I do struggle to sort of post every day. But I have actually really enjoyed it as well. I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed the discipline of sitting down and doing it every day. I'm trying to remember to do it as well. I'm not great at remembering. Sometimes I get halfway through the day and think, oh no, I haven't recorded anything. But I've enjoyed showing you some things around my house and around where I live and just generally sharing my life with you all so yeah thank you thank you for watching when i do a next uh, vlog post it'll be all about the knitting and crocheting and stuff that i've been doing and i'll show you a little bit more about the things that i've been knitting as i'm going along because i've only really done them in passing so far but yeah so yeah Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you again soon.